In this part, we'll discuss the second category where ABO incompatibility is seen. That is, when mixing of blood takes place and the blood is of mother and the fetus. Before we take up certain conditions, we need to understand some very, very important things here. Antibodies A and B. These are IgM type of antibodies. And IgM type of antibodies do not cross placental barrier. So this is important that we have to remember that IgM, these antibodies, do not cross placental barrier. That means the placental membrane which separates the maternal blood from the fetal blood, those membranes cannot be crossed by IgM. This is one very important part. But if an individual, and he, as we are talking about mother and the fetus, if the individual or the mother is having blood group O, then the antibodies of mother with blood group O are IgG type. Here we have written IgM type. But if the female is having blood group O, she would produce antibodies A and B and those antibodies are going to be IgG type. So antibodies of the mother with blood group O are IgG type. And IgG type of antibodies can cross placenta. These antibodies can cross placenta. That means, in general, when the antibodies are produced, and the antibody A and B we are talking about, the ABO blood group system, these antibodies are IgM type. Ig is for immunoglobulins. So IgM type of antibodies, they do not cross placenta. But if the person has blood group O, then it will produce antibody A and B. And these antibodies are IgG type. And we know that these immunoglobulins, they can cross placenta. So ABO incompatibility is seen when the mother is normally with blood group O. So here we are talking of the mother and the blood group is O. That means this mother or this female would produce, or let us see what would be in the blood, RBC, no antigen and antibodies A as well as B. And as her blood group is O, these antibodies are IgG type. And we have to remember that IgG type of antibodies can cross placenta. And suppose if this female is having a fetus with the blood group, say A. So fetal blood group is A. Now to understand this situation, let us represent this with a diagrammatic thing. This is the uh, female's body and say here is this fetus growing in her womb. We know that there is a connection between the mother's body and the fetal body. And this connection is placenta. So there is a fetal part of placenta and maternal part of placenta. And this is the barrier that we are talking about. Though the placental structure is not like this, but we have drawn it like this so that we can understand. So this part represents fetal placenta and this part is representing maternal placenta. Now, 
and this line which we have drawn in between this is the barrier what is in the body of the female the female has rbc without antigen but antibodies antibodies a and b both and as we said the fetus is having blood group a so here it is antigen a and antibody b in the fetal during 9 months of gestation period there is no problem the reason why there is no problem is that the blood which is coming from the mother it comes and goes and the exchange takes place through the placental membrane but here the mixing is not taking place and because of this mixing not taking place the antibody going into the other side doesn't take place so here it is only exchange of substances now at the time of parturition at the time of parturition what happens is mixing of blood takes place that means this blood and this blood they mix and when they mix plus the body of the female is producing igg type of antibodies so the antibodies are able to cross this placenta now in this case what would happen is what comes into the fetal body is mother's rbc and anti a because mother's body is having anti a as well as anti b so anti b and anti b are same but the fetal rbc is having a and mother's blood is bringing antibody a so there would be reaction between antibody a and antigen a antibody a is coming from the mother's body and as these antibodies are igg they have crossed the placental barrier so there is a reaction now the best part of this abo incompatibility is that these reactions antigen ab reactions with antibody ab are milder and that is why invariably it is not life threatening so in this case what is going to happen is the due to this reaction rbc of fetal blood are destroyed and if rbcs are destroyed the conditions are same anemia and jaundice now because these reactions are milder these antigen antibody reactions are milder the anemia which is seen in the newborns is of mild type and the jaundice is also mild and these things can get recovered within a period of one week's time on its own without doing anything because these are a milder uh, reaction certain rbcs got destroyed and those rbc destruction led to anemia when hemoglobin got broken down that resulted into accumulation of bilirubin which resulted into jaundice now this complication is seen when the mother is o blood group type the reason is she is producing antibody a and b and these antibodies cross the placenta but if mother's blood group is a b she would produce antibody a and those antibodies are igm type so igm type of antibodies do not cross placental barrier so in that case abo incompatibility will not be seen so when do we see this kind of incompatibility the condition is mother having blood group o and fetus having any other blood group that is a fetal blood group is a then also this incompatibility would be seen or b then also this incompatibility seen or ab only re only condition
condition when incompatibility will not be seen is the same blood group. So if mother is O and the fetus is having any blood group other than O, then this kind of a complication can be seen. Though the intensity of this complication is not very serious, it is a milder kind of reaction and this reaction is seen because the antibodies which are produced by the mother with blood group O can cross the placental barrier and in case of such situation the fetus would undergo rupturing destruction of RBC due to this antigen antibody reaction and with this would result into mild anemia and jaundice. This is a very very common thing when we talk about uh, newborns. So if we just analyze around ourselves invariably every second or third uh, baby who is born is born with mild anemia and jaundice and if we talk to the doctors they would say everything is going to be fine in seven to eight days on its own because this reaction is milder and it was just an antigen antibody reaction so the second category of abo incompatibility is between mother's blood and the fetal blood and the condition that we have to remember is mother's blood is o type and the fetus can be any other blood group the second thing which we must remind ourselves is the antibodies a and b they are m type antigen or oh sorry the uh, immunoglobulins m type antibodies m type and these do not cross placental barrier but the antibodies, same antibodies, if prepared by an individual with blood group O, those are IgG type and they cross the placental barrier and that is where this situation arises. So, we have seen both the conditions of ABO incompatibility. Now, in the next segment, we will take up RH factor and RH incompatibility.